Namaste. For today's practice, we are going to start lying down on our backs in active resting pose. So go ahead and lay down and bend your knees. Allow your inner knees to rest together if possible and widen the stance of your feet. And then from there, relax your hands onto your low belly and close your eyes. Right away, start to deepen your breath. And you can use the hands here on your low belly as a bit of feedback for your breath, almost as if you are trying to reach your inhales all the way down to your palms. And exhales to allow the belly to rest towards the earth. Keep allowing the breath to expand, using more of the body here to help with the movement of your inhales and exhales. Everything that we experience in this life is experienced through the body. And when we come to our yoga mat, it's a chance to invest more in that experience, to turn the volume of our experience up a little bit, and to get curious about what's there. Yoga is the perfect place to get curious about ourselves because we are different every time we step on our mat. So as we move and breathe together today, let's get extra curious. Let's invest more in our experience here on our mat and then endeavor to make peace with whatever we find. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Do that again, inhale. Grounding, exhale out the mouth. Seal your lips and continue to find your breath in and out through the nose. Relax your arms by your side. Separate your knees and go ahead and just start to twist your knees from side to side. And feel this rotation happening at the hip joint. Feel that articulation of internal and external rotation with each leg. And then come back to center and bring your knees and your feet together. From here, reach your hands straight up to the ceiling and bring your palms together. Keep the back of your head on the ground and reach your fingertips higher. So this is gonna separate the shoulder blades. This is called protraction. So keep this action and then go ahead and reach your chest up towards your hands. So lift your shoulders, lift your head off of the ground. Keep all of this engaging the core muscles. Twist, reach your hands towards the left. Stay in this twisted position. Reach your hands further forward on the diagonal. Breathe. Now from here, lift your feet and then squeeze your thighs up towards your right arm. Feel that connection, one more breath. Release the feet back down, untwist back to center, and lower your shoulders and your head to the mat. Keep your hands where they are. And then again, reach your fingertips higher. Keep the back of the head down for now. Feel that shoulder blade protraction. And then lift the head and the chest and the shoulders as well. Now let's twist to the right, reaching the fingertips on the right diagonal. Pause and breathe. Now lift your feet and squeeze your thighs up towards your arms. You can let the tailbone lift and round up slightly here. One more breath. Feet back down, untwist, and then release the shoulders and the head down. Keep the hands where they are. Adding on, lift up, reach your chest towards the hands, and then twist again to the left. Keep reaching the fingers to the left. Squeeze your thighs up towards your arms. From here, separate the hands and bend the elbows back, flexing at the wrists and lifting your chin slightly. 
supine parsva bakasana. One more breath. Make a mental imprint of this in your body. <laughs> Bring the feet back down, untwist. Bring the hands together and rest the head and the shoulders down. Reach the fingertips up, lift your head, lift your chest, lift your shoulders, twist to the right. Keep reaching the fingers on the diagonal, lift the feet, lift the thighs up into the arm. From there, separate the hands, bend the elbows back like you would for Chaturanga. Lift your chin slightly, engage the back of your neck. Take one more breath. Feet down, untwist, rest your arms by your side. From there, lift your feet up off of the ground, cross your ankles, bring your hands behind your thighs, and let's start to rock up and down the length of our spine, forward and back. Building a little bit of momentum, a little bit of heat here, keeping the core activated, and eventually rolling ourselves up into a seated position where we can transition onto all fours. Facing the top of our yoga mat, come into tabletop, hands and knees. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Have your hands so they're outer shoulder width apart, knees under the hips. Take an inhale, reach your chest forward and through, lift your tailbone and drop your belly. Exhale, send the tailbone forward and down, tuck your chin and round your spine. Inhale forward and through, chest reaches through, relax the belly muscles, lift your throat. Exhale, tuck the chin, reach your heart towards your spine. Last one, inhale. Really reach that chest forward and through, feel the upper back engage. And then exhale, feel the core engage as you round your spine. Now from there, come back to neutral tabletop. So relatively neutral spine and tuck your toes under. Press into your toes and hover your knees about an inch or two off the ground. Try to keep your shoulders and hands steady here and just turn your toes to the right, turn your knees to the right and twist. Stay low with the knees. Come back through center, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Twist to the right, exhale, trying to stabilize the shoulders and chest as best you can. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adjust your stance as you need and move in any way that feels nice here. Maybe pedal the feet out, maybe wag your tail from side to side. Gentle shake of the head, no or nod it, yes. Take an inhale to come forward to plank pose. Rock forward towards the fingertips. Exhale, use your core to lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale forward, plank pose. Point your tailbone towards your heels. Downward facing dog, exhale. This time, inhale forward to plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees to the mat and pause. Look to your hands. Grip your mat with your fingers so that you can see the whites of your fingernails. And then create the action of twisting your hands away from each other. Think of this as a corkscrew action, spiraling the hands away from each other towards the pinky finger sides of the hands. Notice how that brings the biceps forward, bend your elbows straight back and lower all the way to your belly and chest. Point your toes, inhale baby cobra, reaching the back of the head up and exhale, release down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift, engage your upper back, squeeze your shoulders back behind you and then exhale back to the earth. Inhale to all fours, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in, one breath out. Look forward, inhale, prepare, lift your heels, bend your knees, exhale, walk, step or hop, your feet forward to your hands. Lengthen your spine, breathe in, and exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise, stand up, reach up, look up. 
And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Look to your hands, reach up, lengthen. And exhale, bow over strong legs. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, step to plank pose and pause. Take a breath in, rock forward on the toes. Option to drop the knees or lower through full chaturanga, keeping that corkscrew action of the hands. Flip the feet, press your chest forward and up, upward facing dog. Use the exhale to send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. One breath in, and one breath out. Look forward, inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, exhale, walk, step, or hop your feet forward. Heels ground down, inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Bow over your legs as you exhale. Inhale, stand tall and reach up as you stretch and look up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Relax your arms by your side. Have your feet so they are hip width distance apart. And then bend your knees and bring your hands to your knees. Now from here, feel your low belly scoop up and away from your thighs. Now keep that slight lift of the lower abdominals, a little bit of a tuck of the tailbone. Then start to reach your hands forward, engage your low back, to be able to stretch your chest forward as well without losing the engagement of the low belly. Utkatasana. One more breath in. And exhale, bow forward as you breathe out. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, step or hop to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, reaching the chest forward and through. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to chest, and then step the left foot forward between the hands. Press the feet down, inhale, rise up. And exhale here in crescent lunge. One more breath. Inhale to lift your heart. Hands down, exhale, step to plank and low plank with the same breath out. Inhale, burst your heart forward and through. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest, step your right foot forward. Inhale, rise, reach high. And exhale, lunge. Breathe. Let this next inhale lift your heart slightly. Bow forward, hands down, step to plank, and lower to low plank. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Downward facing dog. Exhale. One breath in, one breath out. Left leg lifts again, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to chest, lift it up and away from the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach it up and back. Exhale, left knee to chest, lift. Last one, inhale, lift, three-legged. Exhale, left knee to chest. Step the left foot forward and pause. Keep the right hand where it is on the ground and reach your left hand forward. Now from there, start to circle your left hand all the way back behind you and then continue this circle. So imagine that you are tracing a big circle through space with your left fingertips. And follow your hand with your eyes. And notice how the breath plays into this movement, mobilizing the shoulder joint here. One more circle.
From there, bring both hands forward and down. Now pivot on the back foot to drop the back heel like you would for warrior two stance and bring both hands to the inside of your front foot. So that left foot. And then widen the stance with your hands. Come to fingertips. Use an inhale to lift your chest forward slightly. Exhale, bend your elbows and bow forward for humble warrior. Again, inhale, chest lifts forward. Engage your back body. Exhale, bend your elbows and bow. Last one, inhale. And exhale. From here, bring your right hand under your face. Keep that right hand there. Reach your left hand up to the sky. So nothing changes with the legs. We're just coming into this nice little twist here from Humble Warrior. Take one more breath. Bring both hands forward to frame your front foot. Lift your back heel, step back to plank pose. Take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in. One breath out. Right leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee forward and through. Last time, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest. Then step the right foot forward between your hands. Keep your left hand grounded on the mat here. Reach your right hand forward. Start to mobilize at the shoulder joint here as you draw circles with your right hand through space. Feel your breath get involved with this circular motion. Feel whatever you might feel at the shoulder joint. Let's take one more circle. Keep breathing. Bring both hands forward. Now walk both hands to the inside of that front foot and pivot on the back foot to drop the heel down. Think warrior two legs. And then widen the space between your hands and come to fingertips. Feel your groin muscles move back in space. Use an inhale to lift your chest. And then exhale, bend your elbows and bow forward towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Feel the back body engage. And exhale, bow. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Come back up slightly and bring your left hand under your face. Keep that on the ground. Reach your right hand up and then twist your chest towards your right hand. Take three breaths. Last one. Walk your hands forward to frame your right foot. Pivot on the back foot, lift the heel, step to plank pose. Inhale, rock forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in. One breath out. Look forward, see where you're going, lift your heels, breathe in. Bend your knees and walk, step or hop forward as you exhale. Ground the heels, inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Look up. And exhale, hands to heart. 
Arms by your side. Inhale, reach the hands up. Bow forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Left leg to the sky, inhale, three-legged. Exhale, left knee to chest. Now, cross the left leg to the right and step your left toes to the outside of your right toes. So the legs crisscross. From this crisscross plank, look forward slightly and take a little chaturanga push-up. Lift yourself back up. Cross-legged, downward facing dog, sending the hips back. Now from here, lift your right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest, step the right foot forward. Readjust the back foot if you need, and then rise on up for crescent lunge. Pressing down into both feet here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to twist your torso to the right. Bring your left arm across, so the left hand comes to the outside of the front knee. The right hand comes to the small of your back. Now with the hand there, roll the right shoulder and elbow back in space. Now to come into the deeper expression of this twist with the elbow hooked on the outside, think about what we did in chair pose. Think about lifting your low belly away from the front thigh. So that's gonna round the back slightly. Let the upper back round and then slide that front arm down the outside of that front leg. Then bend the elbow. Find your hands together in front of your chest. Press the front knee into the arm and the arm back into the knee. One more breath. Keep that back leg nice and strong. Now look forward and down. We're gonna step the left foot beside the right and end in a prayer twist. Now from here, lift your right heel. Start to bring more weight to the left foot. Get lighter in the right foot. Press the left foot down and stand up, keeping this connection between knee and arm. Then from there, bring the left hand to the knee, bring the right hand back, and find your standing twist. Breathe. The more you can bring your weight over the left heel, the easier it will be to balance here. One more breath. Untwist back to center. Step your right foot down, relax your arms by your side, Todasana. Inhale as you are. Now bend your knees and bring your fingertips to touch the ground on either side of your feet. Take one more breath in. Bend your knees even more, lift your heels and squat down, bringing your bum towards your heels. Now from this low squat, Reach your right fingers to the right, bring them down onto the ground, and then reach your left hand up and find a side bend towards the right. So from the front, it looks like this. Now keep this side bend to the right, add the twist. So start to rotate your chest and your belly down towards the mat, then hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. We're just gonna pause here to establish this twist. Keep pressing the leg into the arm and the arm into the leg, just like we did in our lunge. Look over your right shoulder. Take two more breaths. Untwist, forward fold at the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana as you exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. 
downward facing dog. Exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. Right knee to chest as you exhale. Now cross that right leg to the left, step the foot back to the outside of that left foot. Pause here, look forward slightly. Take a chaturanga push up with cross legs. Press back to cross legged plank. Cross legged downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left knee to chest, and then step the left foot forward. Readjust the back foot if you need. Rise, crescent lunge. From here, we're gonna to start to twist to the left. So cross your right arm over, bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee, and bring your left hand to the small of your back. Roll your left shoulder back in space. Feel this twist here. Now to go deeper, think about lifting the low belly away from the front thigh, round your upper back slightly. Now slide that front arm, so the right arm, down the front leg, the left leg, and then bend at the elbow, bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Find that container of stability by pressing the left leg into the right arm and the right arm into the left leg. Now look down to the left foot. We're going to step the right foot to meet the left in a prayer twist. From there, look down again, lift your left heel, transfer your weight more to the right foot, power down through the right leg, stand up, keeping that connection of leg and arm as long as you can. Then bring the right hand to the left knee and the left hand back, finding our standing twist. Feel all the shakes and wobbles as your right ankle fights for balance here. Support that balance with the ease of your breath. Untwist, come back to center, and step the left foot down. Pause in Tadasana, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and touch your fingers down to either side of your feet. Inhale here. Bend your knees more, lift your heels and squat down. Left fingers reach to the left, right hand reaches up, and then side bend to the left. Now keep that side bend action. Twist your chest and your belly towards the ground. Hook your right elbow to the outside of the left knee and then twist. So use that connection between leg and arm like we've been doing to leverage more rotation in the spine. Look over your left shoulder for the last two breaths. Untwist, forward fold at the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in. One breath out. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Left knee to chest, exhale. Cross the leg over to the right and step it back, cross-legged plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Plank, inhale. Cross leg, downward dog, exhale. Right leg to sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest, step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Use the hands first. Now scoop the low belly up and in. Round the upper back. Slide that front arm down the leg. Find your twist with the elbow and the knee. Look down to the front foot. 
Step your left foot to meet the right. Lift your right heel first. Press the left leg down, stand tall, bringing the leg and the arm connection with you as you rise. Left hand to right knee, right hand reaches back and twist. Untwist, come back to center. Then drop the right foot down, Todasana. Inhale. Bend your knees, fingertips touch the ground, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees more, sit your bum down, and exhale here in low squat. So from here, we start the same, reach the right fingers to the side, side bend to the right. Left hand reaches up and over towards the right. Now we keep this side bend, and then we twist our chest and our belly down. We find that connection between elbow and knee. We bring the hands down, from here, we work towards Parsvapakasana, side crow. Once the hands come down, create that corkscrew action we were talking about in plank. And then from there, send the elbows back as you bend the elbows, bring your weight forward, shift your weight towards the hands, look forward, lift one foot off the ground, and then the other. Think about all that supine work we did at the beginning of practice. It's the exact same shape, just balancing on our hands. <laughs> No big deal. So give it another try. And when you're done playing, we meet in forward fold at the top of our mat. Start to release that. When we get curious with the body in poses like our balances, so important to be able to make peace with whatever happens. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg to sky, inhale. Right knee to chest, exhale. Cross the right foot to the left, cross-legged plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Plank, inhale. Cross leg, downward dog, exhale. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left knee to chest. Step the left foot forward and adjust your stance as you need. Lift your hands up, inhale. Twist to the left, exhale. Lift your low belly away from your thigh, round your upper back. Slide that right arm down the left leg, hook the elbow, hands to your chest. Look down to the front foot. Step your right foot, the back foot, to meet the front. Lift your left heel. Power down through the right foot and the right leg. Stand up with that connection between arm and leg and then slide the right hand to the left knee. The left hand reaches back, stand tall and twist. Inhale back through center and exhale, both feet down, arms by your side, inhale. Bend your knees, fingertips touch down, exhale. Bend your knees more, lift your heels, lower your bum and exhale here. Reach your left fingers to the left. Reach your right hand up. Find that side bend to the left and keep that as you rotate the chest and the belly down. Hook your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Hands come down to the ground. Now, once your hands come down, find that connection between the fingertips and the earth. Squeeze your mat and then create that corkscrew action of the hands as you shift your weight forward, bend your elbows, look forward, lift one foot off the ground, and then the other. Stay and play as long as you like. And when you're done, we meet in forward fold.
Lengthen your spine, breathe in. And exhale, hands down, step or hop to low plank chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, forward to high plank. We're gonna lower to our belly for a count of five, four. You can use the knees if you need. Two and one. Pause. Have your hands stay where they are. Press the top of your right foot down so that it lifts the right kneecap. Feel that engagement of your leg and then lift the entire right leg off of the ground. Squeeze your right glutes. Feel the thigh lift off of the ground. Now keep this. Bend your right knee. Turn your right knee out to the right and your right toes to the left. Now keep the hands where they are. Keep the head down. Twist and reach your right big toe towards the left, to the ground on the left. Come back through center, and then straighten the right leg and lower it to the ground. Other side, left leg lifts, squeeze your left glutes. Keep the left thigh lifted as you bend the left knee. Now turn your left knee out to the left, reach your left toes to the right, touch your big toe down to the ground. Untwist, come back to center, and lower the left leg. Adding on, right leg lifts, squeeze your right glutes. Bend your right knee, engage your hamstrings. Turn the right knee out to the right and reach your big toe to the left. Now once your big toe touches down, press into your hands to lift yourself off of the ground, turn over your right shoulder and sit on your bum looking at your legs. Ah. <laughs> that transition often loses a couple people. <laughs> Let's try it on the other side. Come back to our belly. Hands under the shoulders. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee. Keep the thigh lifted. Turn the thigh out. Reach the toes behind you. Once the big toe touches down, press into the hands. Lift your chest and belly. Turn over your left shoulder. Stay on your bum and then look at your legs. Come back to our belly, adding on. Right leg lifts, right knee bends. Turn the right knee out to the right, reach your right big toe behind you, touch it down, press yourself up, sit on your bum and look to your legs. Wild thing prep, look at your left hand. Create that corkscrew action of the left hand to the left. Now bend your left elbow slightly and feel the elbow come closer towards your spine. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help to tuck the left shoulder blade under the upper back. And as you can see, as I do that action, my chest already lifts, so I'm already in a back bend. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna press into my outer left foot as well as my right foot here to then elevate the pelvis, press into that hand, keep tucking the left shoulder blade under, and then press yourself up into wild thing as you reach the right hand forward. Take one more breath here. Lower your bum all the way down, come back to that position, and then let's come back to our belly. Hands under the shoulders. Left leg lifts, bend your left knee, turn the knee out to the left, reach your left toes behind you, touch down, press the hands down, turn over the left shoulder, look at your legs. Now look to your right hand on the ground, create that corkscrew to the right, bend the elbow slightly, bringing it closer to the spine, tuck the right shoulder blade under the upper back. Keep all of that so the chest is lifting. 
Press more into your feet, especially the outer right foot, to elevate the pelvis high. Keep tucking that right shoulder blade under the upper back as you reach the left arm forward. For three. For two. And one, sit your bum back down. And flip yourself back to the belly, hands under your shoulders. Take an inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, press to all fours or straight up to plank pose. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in, one breath out. Right leg to sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest. Step the foot forward. High lunge, inhale. Twist, exhale. Left hand crosses the right knee, right hand to the small of your back. Lift your belly away from your thigh, round your back. Slide that front arm down the leg and hook the elbow. Twist. Look down. Step your left foot to meet the right. From there, low squat in this twisted position. Last time to try Parsvabhakasana on this side. Really establish that hook of the elbow. If you want to do it step by step with the side bend and the twist, it's a great way to practice those steps and then link them together. Otherwise, try it again. Shift forward, lift one foot off the ground at a time. Think about all that core engagement we found on our back. Find it here as well. And take one more breath. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. From there, right leg to sky, inhale, stay. Open that hip up, bend your right knee. Let's flip it over to wild thing right away. Reach that right foot behind you, land the foot, press into the feet to elevate the pelvis, lift the chest, feel the left shoulder blade scoop under. Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg high, inhale. Left knee to chest, exhale. Step the foot forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist to the left. Low belly scoops up and in, round your upper back. Slide the front arm down, hook the elbow, and twist. Look down, step your right foot forward to meet the left. Coming right away into our low squat, twisted position, lifting the heels, dropping the bum. Now from there, reach the hands to the left, course through the hands down, lift your feet, bring your shoulders forward, lift one foot at a time. One more breath. Forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale. Open that hip up, bend the knee, bring the heel towards the bum. From here, Reach that foot all the way behind you, land it down, press into the feet, bring that right shoulder blade under your upper back and press into wild thing. One more breath. Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. One breath in, one breath out. Drop your knees down. Walk your hands back to your knees. 
and sit on your heels. Close your eyes. Feel how alive your body is. Slow your exhales down. Turn up the volume of your inner experience here. Find what happens to the body when we transition from dynamic movement into stillness like this. Be with this transition. From here, let's make our way onto our backs. Let's start to find wind relieving pose by bending your knees, grabbing a hold of your knees with your hands, and then encouraging your thigh bones in towards the sides of your torso. Let the shoulders be heavy. Let the face be relaxed. Start to endeavor to make more peace with your body here. Release the feet back down. Have your heels about sitting bone width apart. We're going to press into Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Just one bridge pose here, just to lengthen out the hip flexors, the abdominals and the thighs. So press into your feet, reach your knees forward as you elevate your pelvis. Squeeze your glutes to send your hips higher. Press your feet down more. Let the belly expand with every inhale. One more breath. Lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. And once the hips land, extend your legs nice and long for Shavasana. Relax your arms by your side. Let the backs of your hands rest heavily on the ground, allowing your fingertips to curl in gently towards the center of your palms. So all of that focus that it takes to move through maybe familiar, maybe unfamiliar shapes. Allow that focus to soften. Give your body permission to rest.
allow awareness to drift back to breath. Start to feel the breath expand the inner landscape of your body. Begin to wake up your fingers and your toes. Take any movement here on your back that feels nice. Maybe roll out the wrists and the ankles or find a full body stretch as you reach the arms above the head and point the toes away. Hmm. Eventually we bend our knees and roll ourselves over to one side into a fetal position. And then press yourself up into a comfortable seated position where we will close our practice together. And one more time, come back into the body as you close your eyes. Draw your hands together in front of your beautiful heart and let this be a gesture of your commitment to stay curious with yourself, to stay curious with your experience on and off of the mat. And may we always make it our endeavor to make peace with whatever we find along the way. And an acknowledgement of the effort that it takes to show up for yourself in body and mind here on your mat Offer yourself a deep bow of gratitude. Namaste.